The COVID-19 virus is a member of the coronavirus family that made the jump from animals to humans late last year. Many of those initially infected either worked or frequently shopped in the Hunan Seafood Wholesale Market in the center of the Chinese city of Wuhan. Unusually, for a virus that has made the jump from one species to another, it appears to transmit effectively in humans. Current estimates show that without strong containment measures, the average infected person will pass it on to two others. The combination of the coronavirus's ability to spread and cause serious illness has prompted many countries, including Iran, to introduce or plan extensive public health measures aimed at containing and limiting the impact of the epidemic. Hello again, and welcome to this exclusive edition of Bazaar. In this program, we will explore the disposable medical supplies market in light of the novel coronavirus outbreak. We will take a look at the domestic market and how these products have increased in demand and become vital in the containment of this infectious disease. We will also check out the activities in Iran's market internationally. So, don't change the station, whatever you do. As the national outbreak is sounding alarms, a countrywide movement has begun to contain COVID-19. Iran has recorded a growing number of confirmed cases, with numerous deaths registered due to this infectious disease. Never more than now has Iran's medical and health industries been in the spotlight. The Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Industry have called on all manufacturers and related trades to step up the plate and join the fight in containing the outbreak. Manufacturing companies and organizations have stepped up their activities and production of medical disposable supplies in their efforts to join the fight for curbing COVID-19. There are many manufacturers of disposable medical coveralls and apparel, items that are in high demand these days in medical facilities that are faced with treating patients with COVID-19. There are over 15 medical mask manufacturing units currently in Iran. The domestic daily production of masks is approximately 1.5 million units, which is estimated to satisfy domestic demand. But with the unexpected event of the coronavirus pandemic, there has been a shortage in supply as domestic demand has increased. However, shortages are leaving doctors, nurses, and other frontline workers dangerously ill-equipped to care for COVID-19 patients. This is due to limited access to health worker safety gear, including gloves, medical masks, respirators, goggles, face shields, gowns, and aprons. These items help contain infectious diseases as well as protect both patients and medical practitioners. Iran's Ministry of Health and Medical Education has calculated the demand of these items to be just under 50 million per week in order to curb the spread of the virus. But the containment battle hasn't been limited to action in manufacturing and industry. The Defence Ministry has also taken proactive steps towards prevention and relief. Iran's Defence Ministry has set up production line workshops that will aid in supplying disinfectants and hygienic masks as a step to further speed up the containment of the new coronavirus which came from China. بلا فاصله تغییر حالت و هم بسیار خوبی داره. دیدیم مثلا تو شما سید حتما دیدید. دیدید چقدر مردم کشور پای کار بودن. زلزله ما دیدیم که چقدر مردم پای کشور بود. پای کار بودن مردم کشور. در همه جا هم همینه. در همه کار الان کل کشور بسیجن و آمارا نشون میده که ایران یکی از کشورهایی که خیلی خوب مقابله کرده توی قضیه. شما هر جای کشور هم ببینی we visited one of these production lines in Lavizan in order to observe the action in real time. Iran's military has focused their efforts towards providing aid to the country. The military has redirected the production of military clothing to instead manufacture masks and medical protective clothing.
خب مکانی که ملازه میکنه مال البسه نظامی بوده خب ما در نیرو زمینی کارگاه تولیدی داریم که تمام ملبوس سرواز کلا ما تولید خواهیم کرد و همین الان سروازی که شما ملازه کنید داخل شهر میبینید که از پوتین تا کلا کلا کار ماست یه بخشی از این کارگاه همین بود لباس میدود ما وقتی که بنابرای دستور و احساس نیاز به هر حال کشور نشستیم جلسه گذاشتیم بررسی کردیم کمتر از سه ساعت ما تغییر کاربری داریم یعنی یکی محسنات ارتش و نیرو زمینی اینه که خیلی سریع عکس العمل نشان میده و به روز میشه و تغییر مثبت انجام میده مثل وارد شدن نیرو زمینی ارتش در سیل مثل زلزله یا هر چیز دیگه این هم اینو جنگ فرق نداره ما در یک زمانی به عنوان آماد آماد پشتیبان جنگه ما در یک زمانی در جنگ مهمات میدادیم خوراک میدادیم سوخ میدادیم پوشاک میدادیم پشت جبه خب آمادم همیشه هست یعنی جنگ و غیر جنگ نمیپرسه این بحث کرونا هم خب اینو جنگ واقعا This is just one of 15 converted production lines established by Iran's military across the country in order to help provide these vital items. Currently, these facilities can produce up to 50,000 masks and medical apparel per day. ما 2000 تا می‌زدیم. الان همین کارگاه همین کارگاه رسیده به 8000 تا. تولیدات کارگاه دیگه ما همین امروز ما آخرین چون بیلان می‌گیرم 3000 تا هم کارگاه دیگه است. ما روزانه همین الان به صف 11000 تا رسیده. These production lines are staffed by volunteers as well as our armed forces who work in shifts to handle the output of medical masks and safety gear. Each volunteer and staff member must follow strict personal hygienic and sanitation guidelines such as washing hands, maintaining distance and the use of masks and gloves. خانمای که ملازم می‌کنی خانمای نظامی هستند، دختران نظامی هستند. همونطور که نظامی ها همیشه در بحران ها کنال ملت بودن شعار ارتش فدای ملت ما واقعا عملا اجرا کردیم و پای کاریم شوهران این خانما در جبهه جنگ بودن در هشت سال دفاع مقدس بخشی پزشک و پزشکیارن اینا هم خودشون خودجوش اومدن هفت صبح تا هفت شب میرسن پای کار و الان میرسه به این مرحله که با یک ماسک خوب و استاندارد و الحمدلله با تیراج قابل قبول Well, after final sterilization, these items are packaged. Medical masks and personal protective covers produced are then distributed to hospitals and medical services facilities across the country. The emergency demand for these items has increased concerns regarding the spread of COVID-19. This has brought a whirlwind of activity across the country from organizations and governmental entities in an effort to halt the spread of this epidemic and prevent fatalities. هم خانمایی بودن که قبلا بودن هست همون که خیلی خانمای خودجوش اومدن خیلی ها هستن الان یه سریا کار میکنن باز دوباره بعد از اون اینا اگه چی بشه میان سریای بعدی کار میکنن و هم از قبل بوده همی که به صورت خودجوش خیلی ها با من تماس گرفتن که ما حاضر به همکاری هستیم و اومدن اینجا کار انجام There are many other makeshift manufacturing workshops set up across the country by branches of Iran's military. Such adapted factories have also been established in many provinces such as Tehran, Golestan and Khuzestan. Masks that the children of us use are capable of protection and they can be protected in two ways. Here we use masks, it is protected, it is sterile, it is protected. نسبت به ماسکای فیلتر دار یک کم ضعیف تره ولی نسبت به ماسکای یک بار مصرف بهتر Some makeshift workshops are well equipped and can produce in the thousands per day. Some of these have been specifically created to address the current shortage of supplies. The supply output from these factories are also distributed among community members. ارتش خودش به حسب نیاز یگانش سازمانش خونه سازمانش اینا رو بسته بندی میکنه زده عفونی میکنه بسته بندی میکنه به خانواده ها تحویل سری اول روزای اول که ما تولید کردیم اینا رو تحویل مردم قم دادن به حسب شرایط که داشتن و نیاز داشتن اولین سری که تولیداتمون رو به شهر خونه فرستاد Some industrial units are dedicated to making disinfectant gels and sanitizing liquids 
alcohol disinfectant gels and liquids are now running short. The objective is to compensate for the deficit in a timely manner in order to contain the outbreak. A large quantity of these liquids have been used to disinfect public spaces such as streets and subways by community volunteers such as firefighters. The military has been working closely with the Ministry of Health as well as with medical research facilities and universities. Maintaining direct communication has been crucial in organizing and anticipating urgent needs. Cross-communication is vital for monitoring the situation and help with preventive measures. The military has also opened numerous field hospitals around the country. اول برای رضای خدا بعد به خاطر همکاری و کمک به هموطنانمون خودمون خانواده هامون اومدیم داریم تو این کار مشارکت میکنیم. امیدوارم که این بیماری از بین بره هممون تو سایه امنیت بتونیم به زندگی همون ادامه Previously, manufacturers of disposable, single-use medical supplies operated under total production capacity. Productions from these manufacturers were able to fully meet domestic demand. Also, prior to the COVID-19 national outbreak, Iran exported medical supplies including safety gear and sanitizing equipment to over 50 countries across the world. These exports have generated a value of $20 million in the first half of this year. As COVID-19 was introduced to Iran and the outbreak began, the mounting disruption to the national supply of personal protective equipment and disinfectant gels also rose. Due to an understandable rise in demand and panic buying, availability of well-stocked items dropped in the market. Iranian authorities have repossessed millions of medical supplies being stockpiled by black market traders as they battle to contain the world's second deadliest national coronavirus outbreak. Product shortage later led to surging prices as stockpiled products were released into the black market. The result? A mask that was previously sold for roughly $1 was now being sold for $42 in some areas. Many steps have been taken in order to restabilize the market. A temporary export ban on medical masks, protective apparel, gloves, and disinfectant liquids was agreed on by the market regulation headquarters. Also in an effort to prevent price extortion due to overwhelming demand, the intelligence ministry and other regulatory agencies have cracked down on the black market and stockpiling. Citizens are urged to report high prices to corresponding regulatory agencies. But probably the biggest step that has been taken to stabilize the market has been to increase production of these items. A shortage of coronavirus testing kits, medical disposable supplies and disinfectants was already creating large disruptions to the market. This further increased health concerns about containment of the infectious disease. The cruel economic sanctions placed on Iran by the United States Treasury Department has also dampened relief by foreign humanitarian aid to Iran, adding to demand pressures. U.S. sanctions are constraining the supply of raw materials and imported goods to Iran in two ways. First is the issue of transportation links. The second way is even a viable means of delivery that can be found. U.S. secondary sanctions have restricted humanitarian trade with Iran by scaring off most banks from facilitating the necessary payments. Sanctions have drastically constrained the ability of Iranian entities to finance humanitarian imports, including vital medicines and medical equipment. This month, the World Health Organization dispatched 7.5 tons of medical supplies to support 15,000 healthcare workers and 1,000 screening kits capable of screening nearly 100,000 people. As neighbors impose travel restrictions, Iran faced difficulties in sustaining imports, particularly for time-sensitive deliveries by air. The World Health Organization faced delays in supplying Iran with coronavirus testing kits due to flight restrictions that prevented their dispatch from the United Arab Emirates. The kits were eventually delivered via a commercial flight from Baghdad, but that route may also be closed as Iraq has now announced its first confirmed cases of the virus. A subsequent delivery of equipment did arrive in Tehran from Dubai, but only after the Emirati government arranged a military transport at the request of the World Health Organization. 
The health ministry spokesperson, Kianush Jahanpur, said the rate of new infections was dropping, but that it's still too early to judge when the outbreak would be brought under control. While this infection can show little to no symptoms or signs, some symptoms include fever, cough, difficulty breathing, and in severe cases, it can lead to pneumonia and organ failure. The Iranian healthcare system and the companies that supply the nation's hospitals will continue to fight coronavirus, even without all the resources they need in order to contain this infectious disease. Now, for our special feature this week, we will explore the production of disinfectants. As you may know, there has been a shortage of alcohol disinfectant liquids and gels across the country. My friend and colleague Shahzad has prepared a report on this topic. COVID-19, more commonly known as the coronavirus, has been spreading like wildfire throughout the world. In an effort of self-defense, we see an alarming number of people rushing to stock up on food and, of course, antiseptics. More than ever, the demand for disinfecting gels and sanitizers have proven to be quite straining to pre-existing supply lines, as demand has quite easily surpassed supply by a milestone. So, what must we do with a pandemic on our hands? Iran is no exception to this crisis. In a short period of time, the Islamic Republic of Iran's army has produced a manual supply line for producing, disinfecting gels and solutions, which they plan to be automated in the near future. When disaster strikes, response must be rapid, coordinated, and appropriate to ensure that crisis is mitigated by effective delivery of relief and aid. Uh, در یکی دو سال گذشته توسط تدابیر فرمانده محترم نیروی زمینی تشکیل شده و در حال حاضر هم یکی از مأموریت های اصلی این مجموعه اوورهال و بهینه‌سازی تجهیزات و ادوات موجود در نیروی زمینی محوری هست خب پس از ورود این ویروس به داخل کشورمون و درگیر شدن در از سامانه درمانی و بهداشتی کشور یکی از اقداماتی که وظایف به شکل نیروهای مسلح است بحث مردمیاری است بنا به دستور سلسله مراتب و فرمانده محترم نیروی زمین امیر حیدری این به اصطلاح مجموعه های در قسمت های مختلف نیروی زمینی تشکیل شد یکی از مأموریت هایی که به شکل به این کارخانجد محور شد که ظرف 24 تا 48 ساعت واقعیتش این اتفاق افتاد تولید مواد ضد عفونی کننده سطوح بود که ما به لطف خداوند با پرسنل زحمتکش این مجموعه تونستیم این کار رو به صورت نیمه دستی و نیمه اتومات شروع بکنیم At a time like this thorough maintenance of personal hygiene has become of the utmost importance In cases where running water and soap are not available disinfecting gels and sanitizers play a key role in stopping the spread of the virus خب یکی از مواردی که خدمتتون عرض کردم بحث مواد ضد عفونی کننده سطوح بود خب بنابر اطلاعی که سازمان بهداشت جهانی در خصوص ترکیباتی که میشه استفاده که در مورد مواد زیتون سطوح ما هم دقیقا از همون فرمولاری استفاده میکنیم غالبا از آب و آب ژاول هست که به اصطلاح به صورت ترکیب و نسبت های خاص خودش داره اتفاق میفته یا اینکه از آب و در از واکتس که حالا اونم با این نسبت خاص خودش داره در مورد مواد زیتون کننده دست خب از ترکیبات خاص خودش که فرمولاسیون رو ما تهیه کردیم از اداره بهداشت درمان نیروی زمینی و مطابق با استانداردهایی که در این خصوص وجود داره چون یکی از مواردی که باعث در نظر گرفته بشه این که آسیبی خود نکرده در این خصوص بعد از بهبود بیماری بعد از بهبود این ویروس متقبل مردم عزیزمون و کسی که تو این حوزه استفاده کرده نشه As important as hand hygiene is, it is important to note that use of surgical masks and gloves also serve as barriers of infection. In the case of COVID-19, infection occurs not only through exposure to infected surfaces, but also water droplets dispersed in the air by infected people closer than one meter in distance. By using a surgical mask, a physical barrier will protect you against spray of fluids or large droplets. 
Remember, these masks fit loosely around the face and must never be touched directly with your hands in order to ensure longevity of their half-life. This is one of the factories Iran's army has put up in a short period of time that produces surgical face masks. Here we see one of the face masks. It is double layer, each layer having 40 grams of fabric. Although this one location only produces 1,000 manually built face masks per day, it is estimated when the automated line is up and running, we will produce an estimated amount of 100,000 to 150,000 masks daily. As most infected are not handicapped by the virus, they can easily continue with their day-to-day -day activities, potentially infecting more vulnerable people. This outbreak has not only sparked the spread of a virus, it has also spread worldwide concern. This concern translates into implications between social interactions amongst individuals. So the real challenge we face today is whether we can weather the storm and better our communication for the future. Okay, now let's take a look at recent news and events regarding the medical supplies industry and its related trades. During the overwhelming shortage of protective supplies currently in Iran, relief comes from UNICEF as its second batch of supplies arrived earlier this month. These supplies will assist in the fight against COVID-19 and will be distributed to the country's healthcare providers who are working bravely and wholeheartedly to help people infected with coronavirus. The shipment, weighing 4.5 tons of personal protective supplies, contained two types of high-filtered respiratory surgical masks, surgical gowns, as well as medical goggles. They were sent from UNICEF's global supply hub in Copenhagen to Tehran at the request of the Ministry of Health. Also, the Red Cross of China sent crucial protective supplies with Mahan Air Flight, which are to be delivered to the Chinese embassy in Tehran. The exchanges showed the humanitarian group's efforts to help Iran introduce the type of containment measures that worked in China. Iran is one of the recent countries affected by the rapidly spreading coronavirus, which originated in China in early 2020. Iran continues to apply strict measures to contain the further spread of this infectious disease. Recently, clinical trials of an arthritis drug have been conducted on infected patients. Iranian scientists have produced a test drug that has been able to relieve some of the severe symptoms of the coronavirus. Within 48 hours after taking the drug, it managed to suppress some of the symptoms of the raging virus. This optimistic news was provided by the spokesman for Iran's Ministry of Health and Medical Education. Kianush Jahanpur stated, The doctors will continue to work in the next several days, and if it proves helpful, it will be added to Iran's drug list and mass-produced in about three weeks and released into the market. This drug, known as Asetembra, was originally produced by Chinese pharmaceuticals for the treatment of inflammation in arthritis patients. It is still in its clinical trials for the treatment of coronavirus. This drug, if proven effective, gives hope to fight the coronavirus, which has infected thousands of people worldwide. The world is going through a shortage of the highly coveted N95 medical mask as countries increasingly struggle to gear up for the coronavirus pandemic. Wearing N95 masks designed based on nanofiber technology has been reported to be effective in protecting against infection and is vital for medical practitioners in hospitals. Extraordinary circumstances in China led to people stockpiling these masks to protect themselves, depleting all store shelves across the country. Previously, Iran and Turkey have supplied N95 respirators to China to help win the battle against the outbreak. It might be interesting to know that one of the few countries that have the technology to produce N95 masks is Iran. Back in 2011, when Iranian experts were working on establishing the production line of these respirators, European companies refused to sell the nanofiber production equipment to Iran due to the sanctions. Well, that's all the time we have for today, I'm afraid. Do visit our social media platforms of Facebook and Instagram and let us know what you think about this developing topic. I'm sure you have a lot to share about the coronavirus and medical supplies, so leave us a comment or send us a message with your thoughts. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take good care, stay healthy. I'm Samson Sees. Sees you on the next Bazaar.